Welcome to Tech Extranet. I am always looking for alternative solutions, and if they're free, that's even better. And I was blown away when I found an amazing Adobe Acrobat replacement that can pretty much take care of 95 to 99% of the features that you may need with paid Adobe. But if you're sick of the subscription, be prepared because this solution is free and this video is not sponsored by them. The solution is called Affinity, and it's been recently purchased by Canva and I'm gonna show you how it works and how you get it for free with no strings attached at all, which blows my mind. First of all, you'll notice here that on the Canva website, this is the announcement about Affinity, that they purchased Affinity and Affinity is now free. And you'll also notice here that it shows up on the main site as one of the products here from Canva. But again, all free. And you start off by going to affinity.studio. And so when you go to affinity.studio, you'll go ahead and click on get affinity. You'll notice the price and you sign up to download. You more than likely just have to create a Canva account. Once you log into Canva again for free, even if you have a paid account, then affinity is unlocked. You can gain extra features by actually paying for Canva and you can use the AI features, which I do use as well, but it's not a requirement, which is awesome. Now, if you're not familiar with Canva, it is not required, but this is what it looks like. You download the solution and then click to log in and it'll open up in your browser. You log in with your Canva credentials and boom, it's ready to go. This is the paid version, but you don't wanna pay for it and you don't wanna bother with it. The Affinity app works the same way. So we'll go ahead and open up Affinity after it's been installed. And you'll notice how it loads up like this. And initially it'll show you some sweet videos on how to use it because it is very advanced. You can use this to replace other Adobe products like Photoshop and InDesign and other tools that cost money. You can do them all in here. And what's sweet is that there are a bunch of videos here that you can actually watch or almost like tutorials. And so just as an example, which I noticed was one of the nicer documents, you can click on this right here. It'll download a quick little guide about it and let you work on it as well. So you can watch this video. It'll teach you how to work on this and you can make design products and other documents. And I mean, look how nice and sweet this is. And it'll teach you how to do different things inside of it, which I do recommend because this is a huge amount of features that you can learn about and work on that you may not even know about. If I just close that video for now, I do recommend you watch them, but you can go through and look at even this document, how sweet it is. It is pretty awesome. Yeah, you'll notice here all these different pages, look how sweet they are, and you can build things like this inside of Affinity. But if you're not interested in any of the other features, like meaning creating all these nice documents and all that, and you're just looking for the Adobe portion, it is very easy to work with PDFs. So what we could do is we can just close this document, and then I'm gonna go ahead and drag in any PDF into the application. You can also go ahead and hit file and open and do that. And so now I have a packet that I had created from a free template inside of Canva, but this could be from anywhere. And I just drag the PDF in. And the only thing that does come up that you wanna make sure that you can iron out because it will give you the best feature set is to search for any custom fonts. They do appear here and they tell you, you know, if you don't care, you can go ahead and continue with the fonts that it's trying to match. But you can look at Google fonts or other sites online as long as they're safe. Try to install them on your machine first now that you know, you know, what's missing. And you can go ahead and load them up that way. It's pretty nice. And then in here, you can either load up all the pages or you can load up certain pages as well as down below are some critical sections. There's this checkbox which you can play around with if you're getting odd results. You can try to favor editable text over fidelity, which may give you different feature sets depending on how the 
actual images were imported into the document. But the one thing I did like was group lines of text into text frames. What that does is it lets you modify the text in paragraph format rather than just one line at a time. If you uncheck that, if there's multiple lines, even in a paragraph, you'll have to edit each line one line at a time. But if you group it with this checkbox, then you are in good shape and you're able to modify it as if you would like in Word, for example. So we're just gonna go for this example. We're gonna go ahead and hit okay. Uh, like I said, you do most likely wanna load those custom fonts to make sure that the PDF looks the same. But sometimes, you know, you get a document, you don't know who created it or how they created it. And then in here, man, you, we just get in here and I, well, I was blown away when I was able to come in here and just change anything I needed. You, know, you can make any modifications you want. You can make the text locations bigger and smaller. You can also modify things that I feel that you can't really do as well in other solutions, even with possibly Adobe Acrobat. I've seen some limitations with it, but all these tools on the left allow you to drag things around. This is actually a box that's around it, but there's a picture as well. Let me see, we delete this and we have to delete that. And then here's the image. So, I mean, you can literally do whatever you need in the PDF that you'd be used to doing. You can modify the text. You can move on to the next page and just adjust the text as needed and modify these images just like we did earlier. Move them around where you want them. I feel like this is extremely powerful and nice. I'm sure there's gonna be some features that Adobe does better. For example, I know that you can't really enter in Adobe fields or form fields, I should say, from Adobe. You'll still need to use Adobe for that if you need field functionality for, you know, let's say you send a PDF to somebody for them to actually fill it out so you won't have that feature. Adobe Sign, obviously, too, integrates with the Adobe interface and allows you to send documents for signature. So let's say you do actually just want to sign this PDF. You want to go ahead and free draw on here, which technically you could use, you know, other applications for it, but we can switch over here to Vector. You can also then go over here to the pencil tool and then you can go ahead and sign with your mouse. And as you can see, I mean, it's pretty good for free. You can also annotate and say things that you want to switch. We can then switch back over to layout and add some more text anywhere where you want. And you could modify the size and everything as you normally would feel that you could do and the color. So this I find to be extremely powerful. At the end, when you're done with your work, you can just go ahead to file and then you need to do export because if you do save this, which I do recommend if you do modifications a lot to these, you'll save it in the format for Affinity, which is still pretty nice. It'll be just Affinity's format, which means you can just go back in and keep working on it. And I do recommend doing that. But when you're ready and you wanna send the PDF off or share it with somebody, just go down to file, export, and then export again. And in this menu on the left, you do need to pick PDF here. And then you have to pick if you think you're gonna print it or if you're gonna do any type of electronic copy but PDF for print probably does the best thing, or you can decide if you want it as a high quality digital option. So these are all here. Select that and pick your settings and then hit export if there's anything you wanna change. But it does a really great job at making the PDFs and the PDFs open right back up in Adobe Reader, which is free if you need to, and anyone can just view it and use it. So, but I find for free, you can't beat this. And I hope this video helped. I was extremely excited to be able to share this with you. Let me know and comment down below if uh, you have had good luck with it or if you need that one feature that's just not there and hopefully it maybe Canva or Affinity will build it in. You never know. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. We'll see you on the next video.